Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. Today, we are back in the town. Now, the past couple episodes, we have been working on this farm area, and last episode, we made a lot of progress. We have this new barn here, we have the biplane over here, and we have the small tractor over here. Those were all from the last episode. If you'd like to check that out, I will link that in the description. Now, for this episode, we have two new things. Obviously, if you watched the last episode, you're noticing uh, there's something changed about this little area. I'll probably flash a clip up of the last episode on the screen showing uh, what this looked like before. This was just a foundation uh, with some wood pieces. I was trying to make it look like it was under construction last episode. But yes, folks, we have finished this farmhouse and this thing was an absolute nightmare to build. I will, I'll go over that here in a second and uh, talk to you guys about what that means. But also, we have the uh, trailer and truck over here. This was a much requested item from the last episode. So we've got that going here. Now, I want to go ahead and thank Mr. Non-Newtonian. Uh, he's been helping me on my town updates. Uh, he helped me with the nightmare of a house. And he built this nice trailer over here to go with this old truck. So we're going to go over the truck and trailer first. And then we'll take you guys on a grand tour of the house. All right, here is the truck and trailer. Now, the trailer is going to be used for cattle and or horses. Uh, last episode, when we had the barn, I have a little pen area out there, and I talked about maybe being able to back up a trailer to it and actually use it. So I'm going to show you guys how that works here in a minute. And this old truck here, this is like a, I would say it's like an old Ford or an old Chevrolet. Of course, you can't get that detailed in Scrap Mechanic because you're dealing with limited parts, but... I think it turned out good. It does look like an old truck. It's got some nice shapes to it. You got a little spare tire here. Uh, it's got a wood bed in the back. You can see some boxes. It's got this wood siding on here. Now, you're probably looking at the tires. Uh, ever since I came back to the town, I've been scaling down my vehicles a bit because they looked way too big. I did try to put the big tires on this vehicle and it just didn't work. It didn't look right. Like uh, a lot of the old trucks that I see when I looked up farm trucks, they all had relatively small tires. It's not like a lot of the modern trucks that you see these days that have absolutely huge tires. But anyways, you've got that. Uh, the trailer here, it does open up. So I want to go ahead and show you guys that. Uh, and do we have the glitch? No, okay, it's just a little slow to open there. So you've got the inside here. Plenty of room for a horse or a cow. Uh, it's actually quite nice looking. I love the way it looks. It's got a little air conditioning unit on the top. Uh, you got the two back tires here. Now, these are not on suspension, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, this trailer is actually attached to this truck. Uh, a lot of times I'll do like a hitch system or something, but the last couple episodes, whenever I've done like a hitch or something, it's lagged terribly. So, we actually have it connected here with the bearing. So, I'll show you guys how that works. Uh, there's also these couple bearings Mr. Non Newtonian put here, and this kind of actually acts like a suspension because this will make it go up and down. So it'll travel really nice over these bumps out here. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump in real quick. Uh, drive the truck around. Now the truck does have a uh, suspension glitch in it. And it was the whole fact that I knew we were going to be like carrying this huge... Well, I wouldn't say it's a huge trailer, but it's a heavy trailer. And we needed some more turning power. So it does have a uh, suspension glitch. I'll show you guys that here in a second. I'm going to go ahead and drive it around a bit. And we're actually going to take it over to the barn. I'm going to swing it out here real quick. And then we'll take it over there. And show you guys kind of the intended purpose. Alright, this thing handles everything fairly nice. I'm going to take it down this hill real quick. Show you guys kind of how that trailer works. That's awesome. Yeah, it works really good. But yeah, I love the way this thing looks. It's got that old classic paint job on it. Uh, everything opens up. You get a little horn here. You get the side. I didn't really do too much engine detail. We have that suspension glitch setting there. You can kind of see the... Yeah, you can see the suspension piece there. So I didn't really throw anything on top of that, but yeah, works really good. Now, to be honest with you, I really didn't use suspension glitches much. Uh, Mr. Non-Newtonian actually kind of showed me more about them. I, I never really thought to use them, but they're actually coming in handy. So I'm not opposed to using them anymore like I used to be because I thought they were going to be fixed, but apparently they're not. So they're okay in my book. Anyways, let's go ahead. We're going to pull over here to this barn. I'll show you guys how this is going to work together. Uh, I think I have a long enough shoot here. This is going to be a little bit tight, so we're going to squeeze through here. Take a left, and I'm going to need to back this up. I'm going to have to guess about how big this uh, trailer's door is. 
I think we've got it pretty on point. I'm gonna have to open up the gate over there too. So we're gonna back up here. Uh, I'm really terrible about backing up trailers, uh, even in real life. So this might take me a second here. Here we go. Okay, you gotta just kind of do it nice and slow. Uh, we're gonna stop about right here because I don't know how far that gate's gonna need to swing out. Okay, so anyways, when you're ready to unload the animal, you open up the uh, door here and the gate here. So that should create... Wow, that bounced me back. <laughs> but yeah, that should create a pathway. They should go straight into here. Of course, we don't have animals in Scrap Mechanic. I'm still trying to figure out. I want to maybe create some sort of... I don't know if they're really going to move around much. But I'd like to create a couple animals. So yeah, load them up in here. And you can load them up in their little... I guess you could say stables. I almost said cages, and that almost sounds wrong. So... Not gonna say cages, but anyways, that's how that works together. I think it turned out really nice. Like I said, I want to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian for helping me out on that and definitely building this sweet trailer. So we're gonna close that there and we'll stay parked over here. Now, as far as buildings for the farm, we've got the new farmhouse. I do still intend on maybe building a garage for the vehicles or at least a couple of them. I don't think I can find a garage big enough for the combine harvester. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to do a couple other things structure wise. We still need a windmill too. So anyways, it is time to go over this house. All right. Here is the farmhouse. Now I've built a farmhouse before. It was uh, probably at least six months ago. Uh, it was pretty good, but this one came out a lot better. Now I did talk about this thing being a bit of a nightmare and the reason being was the roof. Uh, you can see the roof has a bit of a unique like shape and angle to it. I was going off several reference pictures. Now, I wanted to use just slanted pieces at first, but those actually create quite a bit of lag. These, um, what do they actually call them? I always call them slanted pieces, a staircase wedge. And I was going to stack those up and make the roof, but for some reason, when you put so many of them together, it lags. So the next best option is to do these, uh, these bearings and have, those are actually wood slabs come down and it's just resting on the roof. So those work pretty good, but the only bad thing was the uh, the whole fact that the roofs intersect each other. And to make that look natural, that was a bit tricky. Uh, me and Mr. Non-Newtonian sat there for probably an at least an hour just on that part trying to figure out how that's supposed to work. And the whole fact that we were going to have it where this thing can go on a lift. So when you drop it off the lift, make sure it doesn't like warp into each other. So that was a bit of a nightmare, but it is fixed now. Anyways, let's go on the uh, grand tour here. Now the front here has got a really nice wraparound porch. It goes around almost to the uh, complete side like an L shape. You got the nice flower pots up here. I think I want to add some uh, furniture here, maybe like a rocking chair or, or like a bench or something. Uh, so this came out really good. Now, which way? I guess we're going to go into the, this is technically the front door. That's a, a side door that will lead into the dining room area. So. Let's go in the front door here. There we go. All right, and close that. So you've got our living area here. It's a nice living room. Uh, you've got the uh, TV over here. You've got the couch, a little rug here. Now this TV actually works. This is kind of, well, I don't want to say works. Uh, it does this. It's kind of a scrambled signal right now. This is like one of those old tube TVs. When I was thinking of like a farmhouse, they're probably not going to have your big flat screen TV. Uh, this is still a relatively big TV, but it's a uh, obviously really fat. So, tube TV. It's got the uh, antennas on it. Looks really cool. So you've got that. Uh, this is actually a little, almost like a hallway slash closet. There's your uh, little electrical box. But this actually leads to all the controllers in the house. So, as you can see, uh, it's a little bit busy. It's not too bad actually. So that's how you get to those. So we're gonna go ahead and close that. Anyways. Uh, you can see the living area kind of goes into somewhat of a hall. Uh, you've got a little... They, they have an actual word for tables, like randomly placed tables. It's like a decorative table here. And of course, we got our random uh, art. So you've got that. That leads up to the second story. Now, if you go into here, I didn't put doors on this because a lot of times kitchens and dining room areas are just open. So you go into here. Here's your kitchen area. And here's our fridge. Of course, we know what's in the fridge. There's our duck. We got our duck. Got a couple other things. Uh, let's see. You know, I should probably put a button on this end too. Uh, I've only got one on the other end. So we'll fix that up real quick. So we'll close that. 
So you've got that, you got your stove down here. I didn't put a microwave in, I thought they're a little more old fashioned, probably, probably gonna be using the oven and stove top there. Uh, you got the sink here, nice checkered board pattern. I try to go for like an old style in here, that's why you see the wood paneling floors and all that. Uh, and here you've got the dining area, so we can sit down and have dinner. You got a couple plants here, fairly nice looking area. I like the style. I like the older house. I do like modern houses too, like the really fancy ones, but there's something about these houses that look old, and you've got the old creaky like wood floors. Uh, there's something really special about those. So anyways, we'll go upstairs here, and we go into this little hall area. Now we've got two bedrooms and one bath in this house, so this is like a uh, guest bedroom in here. Uh, it's fairly simple. You've got a couple beds in here. Well, it's actually supposed to be one big bed. We don't have a bed bigger than that. I would say that's like a full-size bed, or I don't think it's quite a queen. So put them together. That's probably a king there. So we've got a king-size bed. Got a dresser here. Got your work boots over there. Uh, through here, we're going to go over here into this area. This is our bathroom here. Uh, you've got your toilet sink. Uh, a little shower here, you got the hot and cold water. Uh, it's kind of a compact area. Uh, we built all this upper floor and then it was at the last moment I realized I don't have a bathroom in this house. So I was like, oh, uh, I guess we're gonna have to kind of shove it over in this area. So that came out nice, but here is the master bedroom. This one's my favorite room of the house. We're gonna open that up. And here we go. They've got the uh, slanted roof pieces here. Now there is a little bit of a crack there. You can see some of the sun poking through. That was uh, part of the nightmare where those two parts intersected each other. So you do get some sun rays through there. Uh, there's not much I can actually do about that. Uh, I could try to seal that up, but it pushes the roof up and it's, yeah, it doesn't look good. So anyways, we've got that. You've got the uh, dresser over here with the nice mirror. There's another duck. You've got a king size bed. It's kind of elevated up here. Looks really nice. I love the uh, colors, the backboard or the headboard. Uh, I don't know what they call these. A lot of times in front of these like frontage windows, you'll have this little, it's like a storage area, but it also has a cushion on top. So you can sit here and just kind of look out. Uh, it's got a nice view of the barn. Now, some people have been asking me about that blue vehicle. That is actually from the campground episode. That's a UTV. I've been using it to travel around the uh, fields here. It's, uh, it works really good, actually. It's nice, small, compact. But yeah, that is the upper floor. I really like these windows here because the sun is peeking through so you get some really nice uh, all the sun shafts that come in. That looks really cool. But anyways, that is the house. Uh, we're going to try to put that up on the uh, workshop also. Uh, it is a movable object. I have it welded down. That's why I had, a, like I said, a lot of issues with the roof because I wanted to be able to put it on the workshop but I didn't want you guys to spawn it into your world and it like not work. So. That's that. Uh, you see the side entrance. That just leads into the dining room there. Uh, it was the uh, the picture I was using. Uh, it was an older style house and it had this exact front on it. So definitely came out nice. It looks like an older style house. Uh, you guys have been requesting a lot for housing in the town. Of course, we got our apartments. Uh, I think that's really it. Oh, actually, there's an apartment above the uh, barber shop. So now we have this too to add to it. So anyways, we've got that. Now, for the next episode, we are working on several things. Uh, some more attachments for the tractor here. Uh, this was going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. That house took way longer than we thought it was going to, so I didn't really, I really wasn't able to get anything else done. So we'll come out with some more tractor attachments, uh, some more stuff in the fields. Keep commenting below with suggestions for the farm. Of course, I've got plenty more area that I've got to work with here in the farm. And we're also going to move on and probably do some sort of farm store for the town. And some other projects. So if you guys have any suggestions, uh, not only for the farm, I'm going to go ahead and open it back up for the town too. So if you have any suggestions for that, let me know. Now, one thing that uh, I've been getting suggested a lot, like it's, it pops up every bit video, is the uh, train. The train is not going to happen uh, in the way that I want it to happen. I can make a train station very easy. I mean, it's not going to take much effort. Yeah, I can make it look cool. It's the whole fact that the train part, I, I want a working train and... In the current state, or Scrap Mechanic's current state, it's just not going to happen. Uh, it lags, it would lag it way too bad to make it functional. Uh, and it would probably also take uh, mod parts to do too. So, 
Uh, I'm not ruling it out. I'd eventually like to do that for you guys because I think it'd be awesome for the town. But that's kind of on hold for right now. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's episode. I do apologize for there not being quite as much stuff in this episode. Uh, but like I said, it stuff took a little bit longer than we thought it was going to. I would also like to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian for helping me out. Uh, we'll have all this stuff on the workshop for you guys. But anyways, if you'd like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.